Hey, my name is Mike, and this is a too long didn't read guide for Imanar the Soul Hunter on Normal and Heroic. He does Shock Lance on the tanks. This does high damage and puts a stacking 20 second debuff on you that increases your damage taken. For each stack, you deal damage to random people every 3 seconds. Swap around 5 stacks. Sleep Canister is put on random people. You have a few seconds to run away from the raid, and then you get put to sleep for 20 seconds. Healers dispel this when there's no one around the person. Anyone within 10 yards will be put to sleep for 8 seconds when the original player is dispelled. You can just have everyone spread out. If the person with Sleep Canister can run away to a safe spot, they should. If not, anyone around them should be moving before they're dispelled. Make sure to avoid the green swirlies and the mines that spawn from them. At 66%, the boss jumps across the bridge. He'll be channeling Conflagration, which reduces the damage he takes by 99% and deals increasing raid-wide AoE. This should be interrupted when everyone has made it across the bridge, or as soon as possible if you're taking a lot of damage. On this platform, he has all new abilities. He does Sever on the tanks. This deals high damage and puts a stacking 18 second dot on you. Swap around two stacks. Two people will be targeted for charged blasts. We left the back of the room open for these people to run to as there will be a beam shooting out of the ships off to the side at these players. The beam fires for a couple seconds and follows you, so don't run back in the raid until it's done. Avoid the orange swirlies and the mines that spawn from them. At 33%, the boss jumps back across a bridge and you must cross it again. At this point, I'll mention that you have a few obstacles to avoid each time you cross the bridge. All of them suck and should be avoided. The only time they should be hit is if there's literally no way to continue over the bridge without doing so. After you cross a bridge the second time, the boss now does Empowered Shock Lance on the tanks. This works the same way as it did before, except the damage taken debuff you get is permanent until you die. You can just have one tank go until he dies and then battle res him if needed. There will also be a lot more green swirlies to avoid, but no mines. Instead, the mines called Empowered Pulse Grenades stick to players for 46 seconds and deal damage and knock back anyone within 5 yards. So make sure to spread out. Offensives can be used after you cross the bridge for the second time, and defensives can be used when you're crossing the bridge. That was a too long dinner read guide for Imanar the Soul Hunter on Normal and Heroic. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful day!